There is a danger of losing a large region of Israel. Not to war, not to outside pressure or political bargaining, but by default. The Galil is undisputed Jewish territory within the Green Line, vital for the defense and future development of the state. But over a million dunams of its rocky hills still lie bare and empty, threatened by encroachment, alienation, illegal squatting. Only a significant Jewish presence will ensure this region's future. That's why the Jewish National Fund has undertaken a major development program to bring new life, new settlers, new hope to Galilee. And South African Jewry has a part in this. As you all know, the Galilee is situated uh, with borders with three Arab countries, Lebanon, Syria, and Jordan, of which, of course, the main threat is coming from Syria. It's impossible to defend Israel without the Galilee, from which we can face Arab threats coming from both Syria and Lebanon. It's also impossible to think about our defense without the capability to initiate any preventive steps to defend the country. Either we have to do it against Lebanon or against Syria or against Jordan. So from a strategic point of view, the Galilee is a pivot to our defense. But not only that, as you know, we have in the Galilee uh, several hundreds of thousands of Arabs, Israeli Arabs, that for the moment live with us uh, in a very good relationship. But unfortunately, we cannot uh, prevent the assumption that sometimes some people might create a basis for the Arabs beyond the border. In that respect also, and from a demographic point of view, we have to place our settlements all over the Galilee so that there won't be any vacancy in the Galilee that uh, might be used by the Arabs either in Israel or mainly from outside Israel to launch an attack or to endanger our existence there. Always at the helm of Israel's development, the JNF joined the effort. Rural settlement in Israel is usually based on agriculture, but central Galilee is mainly rocky hills, unsuitable for cultivation. Therefore, large portions of it remained unsettled by Jews. That's why, together with the new pioneers and the official institutions involved, we worked out a new formula, the Mitzpim. Small, cohesive communities based on industry, tourism, and, where possible, farming. To settle quickly, they start with temporary accommodation. Later on, following the pace of the development and construction works, they move into permanent housing on their final site. These mitzpim serve essentially as landholds and as links in the population chain over the whole area. But this national need to settle the Galilee also coincided with the search by many Israelis for new values, an alternative lifestyle far from the rat race and urban stress. Typical of these new settlements is Koranit, whose name in Hebrew means wild time a typical Galilee fragrance. It's an energetic young community gathered from all over the country, searching for economic independence fueled by science-based industry. Here they specialize in computerized services and electronically directed metal production. We came from the kibbutz because we wanted to start a new life in a new place, in the wide open spaces and close to the soil. Most of the people here left the routine of city life in order to be more involved in shaping their own existence, to broaden their professional horizons, to work for a better life with their own bare hands. Making a living is a problem all over the country, and here too it's not easy. But still, a lot of people want to join us. There are a number of people in various towns already waiting for our new houses to be ready. And the more we build, the more people will come. Our target is 120 family units. Our own progress depends on that of the whole region. None of our mitzpim develops alone. We all grow together and the success of the whole block adds to the success of each separate village. Another settlement is called Shorashim. That means roots. New roots for its young families of settlers, mostly from Anglo-Saxon countries, who came here to fulfill a long-time Zionist dream, which combines Jewish consciousness with modern cultural and professional ambitions.
Uh, my name is Phyllis Bellin and I made Aliyah almost exactly five years ago, in one week it'll be exactly five years, from New York with my infant son and my husband. And we came directly from the plane to Shorashim. Um, I think after five years, we basically have the same aspirations that we had when we came, and that's um, to build a healthy society, to build um, an economy that's based on high-tech industry, to build a community that, has, that will be a healthy place to bring up our children, and a community that has a substantial degree of Jewish content in the day-to-day -day life without being uh, coercive. And also, um, one of our principles is settling the Galil. After years of temporary accommodation in nearby Eshkanya, Shorashim's new site is now ready for its settlers to plant their ultimate roots. The final move took place between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur last September. Moving to our permanent site this week has been very, very exciting and very important to us because for the, it'll help us in a lot of areas. One is in attracting new families, particularly the families with the backgrounds that we need in high-tech industry. And secondly, we'll have the proper facilities for our various activities, whether it's childcare, offices, social activities, or our industries that need very specific facilities for, to function in, um, because we're in high-tech industry and because we produce machines particularly to high specifications for um, operating room use in the hospital. Um, so all these things together, we're all really excited that we've moved and that we can start using the facilities that we have here um, to really build the Moshav on the base that we started in our temporary site at Chachanya. Now South African Jewry is getting into Galilee. The JNF has planted an incredible 170 million trees since the establishment of the state. The woods, which proudly bear the name, the JNF South Africa Forest, are a splendid spread of pine, cypress and eucalyptus, which will serve as picnic and recreation areas in the Lower Galilee for an ever-growing population, which mostly enjoys spending its leisure hours out of doors in natural surroundings. It's a part of the quality of life in Israel. Overlooking the South Africa Forest in Lower Galilee, we can find a labor of love carried out by South Africa's JNF. Close by the famous crossroads named after the crack Golani Brigade of the Israel Defense Forces stands the memorial to those former South Africans who lost their lives in defense of the State of Israel. The memorial was erected as a joint project, backed by both the JNF and the Israel Ministry of Defense. There are two main ongoing projects in Galil, South Africa. One is the setting up of a sports and recreational facility at the well-renowned Kaduri Agricultural School, where such luminaries as Defense Minister Yitzhak Rabin, the late Foreign Minister Yigal Alon, and poet Chaim Guri, graduated with a deeply integrated love of the land of Israel already instilled in their hearts. One of the South African aims is to restore the school's amphitheater. A second ongoing project is the development of the Mitzpim. The settlement of Netofar has been adopted by the South African JNF. Netofar is also situated in the Lower Galilee. With the assistance of South Africa's JNF, these young and mainly religious settlers will soon be able to move out of their temporary housing and set up their permanent roots in the land of their fathers. Their hope and prayer is to make a decent living from sophisticated light industry in an area which is unsuited to vast agricultural development. The love story and the working relations between the Kerlin Kayemet and the Galil started almost 60 years ago and even more. During those 60 years, there are few operations that, in my opinion, decided the future and the destiny of the Galil. If you take, for example, the giant project of the Hula Valley, the building of the settlements in the finger of the Galil during the early 30th, starting with the Metsudot, and going up and down all over the finger of the Galil. Then the operation of placing tens of settlements with new immigrants right after the War of Liberation. Then in the early 60s, what we call Mifza Sus, the settlements along the border between Lebanon and uh, Israel. And the latest one, the Mitzpim. What is a Mitzpah? A mitzpeh is a settlement in a place where it is so clear that we must be there. 
and a Jewish presence is important, essential, and vital for the future, for the development, and for the security. But right now, you don't know exactly what can be done there. And you build a mitzpeh, a lookout, an observation point. You know from the few families you want to build these settlements. From a beginning, a great future. When we came here five years ago and the sun would go down, the darkness would descend. It would be completely dark in the whole area. And we felt completely alone. Today, when we look around in the hilltops, on each hilltop there's a cluster of lights, and each cluster of lights represents a new Jewish settlement that didn't exist five years ago. For us, it's a very exciting feeling to feel that we're part of building up a Jewish Galilee. Believe me, my friends, all those who are going today to build the settlements in the Galil, they feel really they are near to God. I always remember a song which was written by a young Hebrew poet, Shimon Kasher. In Hebrew it says, Ulay lo ta'aminu, ani ma'amin. Amok amok ki nachpor ba'adama, nimtza shvil amovil bashamay. Perhaps you won't believe, I do believe. Deep, deep, if we dig into the earth, we will find a path living up to the sky. This is what the JNF is trying to do, with the help of South African Jewry, who are taking their place by donations and by Aliyah in the Galilee of today. A new society is in the making, where only barren, windswept hills stood for centuries in silent beauty. But work is far from ended. Israel is still struggling to rescue its economy by drastic austerity measures. But the development of the Galil may not be halted. More than ever, the JNF needs your help to kindle new lights of freedom and security on the mountaintops, to illuminate the Galilee and give true meaning to the fact that South Africa is a part of it.